Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault, and we got a new series we're starting today. This is going to be a Nomad Pirate build. So what we're going to do is we're playing it on custom settings here, but all of the settings are normal settings. The only thing we change that makes it custom is we disable tutorial missions because you all know I hate those very much. So what we're going to do here is play the game in such a way that we're going to have only one base. And, um, you know, we'll have our little starter base, but we're going to delete that as soon as we can. And as soon as we get a um, freighter, we're going to focus on building up that freighter and becoming a nomad. And we're going to go do, we're going to mainly exist in pirate systems, travel around between them, make our way around and make money as a pirate. So it should be kind of a unique take on things. Normally, I don't. Um, collect things from the anomaly that I've gotten from uh, Twitch and previous missions and all that, or previous uh, um, expeditions, but being that I'm a pirate, I'm going to collect all that crap and not care. So let's cue up the music and we will get right to it. start off on a crappy planet. This first part's always a little challenging to get through, but we're going to get through it as quick as we can and as efficiently as we can. And this should be fun, unique, and different. It's just a different take on the game. I've never played it this way. I've always talked about it. I've been wanting to play it this way. As soon as that one mission comes up, yeah, we're going to basically ignore most of the missions and just collect things, you know? get what we want to get. Um, as soon as that one mission comes up that lets us do the pirate stuff, we're doing the pirate stuff because I want the mask and that's going to be the, the outfit that we wear. Oh, look at this. Right off the bat, we'll make a little bit of cash. So this is good. So that'll give us a nice little boost in the money department right off the bat for our first trip to the space station. These feel like I collected them, but they just didn't disappear, so that's kind of weird. I want to take advantage of the cobalt while I'm in here. Uh, a good thing to get early on. It does come in handy. It used to be the greatest way to make money, but we're not going to make money the old-fashioned way. We're going to do things differently. It's going to be kind of awesome. Now, when I say I'm going to collect the stuff that I have from Twitch missions and all that, I'm not talking about, or Twitch drops, I'm not talking about getting everything just for the sake of it. Like, I'm not going to get every ship I have, because I, God, I got, what, 12 ships or something like that? It's insane. And I just don't need all that. So, but what I will get is a decent starter ship, because whatever I have here, I know is going to be a piece of crap. It always is. And, um, so yeah, that's going to be important. And I'll get a decent gun, because I'm sure we have a piece of crap right now on us. 
effect. Let's take a look at it. Our exosuit's pretty empty. Got 11 album and pearl, so that's good. Um, exosuit's empty, our ship is garbage, and our multi-tool is crap. So this is where we stand. I'll take that little bit of carbon, thank you. And I basically went here to gather up some stuff because, as you can see, I'm on a cold planet. But I'm not freezing in here, because we're underground, so... This was a very good starting position. Could have used a little more carbon, but that's okay. Alright, let's go gather some carbon now. Man, it's such a big cave system here. This is just fantastic, actually. animals hanging out. That's all right. Oh, here's some oxygen. Let's... I don't think I've ever had a start this good. Yeah, so the one, the one place that we uh, set up shop at... I don't know. I, you know, I don't even know if I'm going to have a a home base. Maybe, I, like I said, maybe I'll just have one just for the fun of it. And in case I need to do stuff that you can't do on the ship, but you could pretty much do everything on the ship, but... First things first, we need to repair this scanner thing, so we need to repair our dust for that, which we've got. So now we can do a scan. We don't have an analysis visor. Let's grab a little sodium over here. And I'm going to go grab some uh, dihydrogen real quick. No, we're going to need this. More oxygen right there. Got a little bit of carbon while we're at it. Yeah, so we're going to focus on X modules. Just do things completely pirated. It's gonna be fun. Now they have one. What was it Harvey Dent said? You can die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. Well, that's our goal. We're the villain. We're gonna be the bad guy. Requires a carbon nanotube. That's easy enough to make. Right, so we want to find our ship, and it's over this way. ship is probably going to be all busted up. I think it is when we first get to it, even with the tutorial disabled. Not 100% sure. Yes. 
hard to retain all this information for all these games, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, by not focusing on the missions and all that, it's going to be completely different than the last playthrough. Which I think will be interesting. And that's what I like about this game, is that you can just change something minor and get a completely different experience out of it, right? Harder things we're gonna do is uh, locate nanites, but if we make enough money, it shouldn't be too too horrible. So what we'll do is focus on um, exploring those derelict freighters that I have such bad luck with, but you know for tainted metal, which is the best way to get nanites. But we can also become a killer of sentinels to get pugnium. You know, there's a lot of things we can do. I think the ship's okay. I guess I could have looked at it. Oh no, it's not okay. Right, well. In case you didn't know this, always right around your ship wherever you spawn in for the first time, you will have four oxygen plants. So if you're running low on oxygen and you're heading towards your ship, don't sweat it. We get our little 16-16-16 mission here. We'll get our first batch of nanites. Or salvaged. Okay, that's cool. Take that. We'll start starship fuel. Get a rusted metal. And I don't think we can build the terrain modifier camp. Oh yeah, we can. Technology installed. All right, so we need two carbon nanotubes. get that done. So we should have... And there it is. The very technology. Now nearby... Oh, a dioxide deposit. That's interesting enough. Magnetized ferrite, copper, copper farther away. Magnetized ferrite. All right. Well, I guess it's this copper over here. So let's hop on our ship real quick. Let's see what we can fix. So, we can make it that hydrogen jelly. We can make a metal plating. What we are going to need is portable refiner, so we're going to need a metal plating for that. And what was it we needed? Pure ferrite, was it? I think pure ferrite, right? Okay, pure ferrite and condensed carbon. Alright, so first
first things first. We'll start on the pure ferrite. The carbon, we're going to have to go get more carbon before we even consider making any of that. So we'll do this real quick. And look at that, not a tree in sight. God bless you, Mark. Oh, there's some trees. Yeah, we'll head over to the copper. These are good there. That was giving us a little condensed carbon too, which is nice. Less we have to make, although we'll just make a bunch of it real quick. It doesn't really matter. And here's some more condensed carbon. And the reason we're going for the copper is I know we're going to need the copper pretty quick. That's just one of those early. Where are you? There you are. That's one of those early game items that you really want to get and stock up some on. Jiggling around. Alright. Getting closer. Need any uh, condensed carbon? We'll see. Although I don't think we're getting much, are we? we got one. Yeah, we're gonna need it. Who am I kidding? The gun itself is crap, and then it doesn't have any upgrades on it. So your secondary element is gonna be crap in the beginning. It always is. Once you get the upgrades on there, and you get a better, uh, better gun, yeah. Now nah, you're talking. All right, that's enough carbon. Hopefully this is a pretty good copper deposit. Get the terrain manipulator ready and uh, oh, where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Now let's get some more dihydrogen first. Oh my god, it looks like somebody already got that one. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what that means. It looks like it's all covered up with stuff. Wouldn't that suck? Alright, we are getting some copper. But yeah, somebody already hit this up, it looks like. Holy crap. That's a cheeser. Now the planet's discovered by me. Hmm. I've never had that happen. 
a little money. Never had that happen first time out. I'll be dang. Alright, well, there's one over here, 194 away. If this one sucks too, we're back to the ship. I know you can make your beam smaller to gain more, you know, to get more yield out of it, but we're just haphazardly gathering right now. We ain't sweating. Alright. So, what did we need? We needed a hermetic seal and 50 pure ferric. We have that. A hermetic seal. We can make it. We had enough. Cool. Alright, well, let's head back to the ship. I think we can make it back without running out of cold protection? I hope so. A little sodium just in case. <laughs> Let me run. It's so cold. At least we don't have storms on this planet. Hydrogen, yeah, I think we're gonna make it just fine. Whoa. I guess we could have stopped in there to fix our issue with the cold, but it's alright, man. We're gonna we're gonna live dangerously. Well not dang not that dangerously, it's not a permadeath run. Oh, everything's icing up. I'm in trouble, ma. Can't see. Well, we made it. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything fixed up. Medic seal done. We have launch fuel. We don't have a warp drive. Can we build a warp drive? We can. That's where we needed that chromatic metal. Five microprocessors. Uh, well, it looks like we got enough of that. So you know, let's hop out. Let's put this down. Put in all of our copper. And put in some condensed carbon. Let that run for a minute. Let's see what else we got here. This we can put on the ship, this we can take out, this we can put on the ship, on the ship, this is definitely on the ship. There's some nanites right there. Actually, let's start organizing right off the bat. I always put these things in a certain order, and I'm not going to stop now. Yeah, 
outstanding. on it, a warp drive already, auto charger for the launcher, that's going to make a monster difference. Yeah. Thank you. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> We're not going to get the speeder. I forgot about that part. The speeder's the one I want. So, I am going to get the speeder. I'm not going to get a different ship. I'll just get the nanites. We're going to find some nanites. Uh, let's go back to Twitch now. Let's just get all the posters. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. We can get Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Nice little pirate flag would be using that for sure. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. No, nope, we don't want that. There we go. We're not going to get any eggs or weapons from here. None of these ships. I want that specific ship, and that's it. I will take this, though. Yowza's Quantum Tuner. So we will take this multi-tool. We're going to exchange it, actually, and get rid of that piece of crap. I always forget to do that when I have a crappy multi-tool. Really, no reason to hold on to it. An old crappy one. Okay, here we go. We're back. Yeah, let's get all the armor. Collectible received. Collectible received. Not on. There we go. Oh, forgot that one. Chess piece. received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. This is all decorative crap. Collectible received. Collectible received. Tons of fireworks, man. We could have a show. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. More guns. More ships and companions. Collectible received. Get some cool heads and all. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Cows and statues. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Alright, so that's it for Twitch, right? Let's go to the expedition. Yeah, the speeder, man, I want that so bad. Oh, you know what? Maybe we use this helmet. Yeah. I forgot about that thing. Uh, we can't get that. Whoop. 
We don't have a freighter yet. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Collectible received. Oop, almost. Almost. Alright, let's go change ourselves up so we look cool now. Let's get it a few goofball. And I think we want to be a traveler, right? If I'm not mistaken. Let's see if that helmet's under there. No, I don't think so. Maybe that's under anomaly? It is. Okay. So let's make it some markings. We're going to make it black and red for a little Darth Vader -y vibe here. And of course, I always use the armored chest piece with markings on it. I always use the armored everything for the outfit. Everything else in the game, in my opinion, pales in comparison. But, you know, that's just me. Yourself look however you want. There we go. Finish that off. It's always fun getting your guy looking kind of the way you want to, at least. I know in the beginning, if you don't have a lot of stuff, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but hey. Whoop. There we go. Put the boots now. I am hoping for some more variation on armor and all that coming up. That'd be kind of a neat thing. I feel like Hello Games is kind of not done too well with that. There we go. I want the Outlaw Cape for sure. You know, we get new helmets and heads and stuff, which is all sweet. That's cool. But not a lot of the other stuff. All right, let's go black, red, and let's find something kind of piratey. There we go. Now we just need a title. We want something kind of piratey there. something that will strike fear into the hearts of anybody I run into in the anomaly. As if. I do want to be a nomad and I do want to be a pirate, but we're going to go with nomad. I like that. And yes, apply the changes. And here we go. Looking pretty solid, looking a little Darth Vader-y. I know it's black and red, and it's kind of hard to see the black in this light here in the anomaly. It always kind of brightens things up a little bit, but definitely a solid look. So, perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, guys, well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up our first episode of our Nomad run. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. Thanks for joining me for No Man's Sky today. If you haven't done so, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications. We're going to take this guy out and see what he's all about. But first, I'm going to go get all my other Quicksilver crap, all the cosmetic stuff from the regular vendor. There's so much of it, I don't want you guys to be bothered with it. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.